This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2003 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Short Bed, 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's an XLT, which means it's cloth. Um, it's on a salvage title due to theft. It has 153,000 miles. Uh, insurance companies give them salvage titles so that when they sell them to us, and we sell them to you, and you run a red light, and lawyers get involved, uh, Allstate or Geico or Progressive doesn't get sued. Basically, it's a liability issue. Uh, if you watch a little three-minute animated video in our ads on salvage theft, you'll understand why. Uh, basically, it's uh, insurance companies wanting to divorce from this vehicle forever. They've already paid out a fortune. They don't want to get sued by someone who runs a light, finds out that uh, Geico or whatever used to own it, and that they have lots of money and they want some. So by giving it a salvage title, they get out of the liability of this vehicle in the future. That's why they do it. Anyway, let me show you what's going on here. We bought this truck, and this is the list of stuff we did to it. Uh, it's got uh, new, brand new wheels and tires. We have invoices for this stuff. Uh, new wheels and tires, a new 6.5 inch Pro Comp lift, new EGR cooler from Ford, uh, new high pressure oil pump and IPR. It got an oil change, it got front brake pads, two injectors weren't right, so it got two new injectors. We repaired the transmission cooler. Uh, we did a steering stabilizer strut. We also did uh, gave it a new coolant reservoir and new antifreeze and a new starter. On top of that, it got uh, detail and <sighs> that's about it. All right. Anyway, got some Dick CPAC wheels on it. It's got BFG All Terrain TAs. They are 315 LT315 7017s. There's your lift, there's your shocks, and then you've got uh, the leaf springs are part of the uh, lift that we purchased. Like I said, we will have invoices for all this stuff if you want them. They're all part of our records. Paint-wise, I mean, you're not buying a car that's got great paint. It's got chips and nicks and stuff. Mechanically, you're buying a vehicle that's had the uh, main issue with all 6.0s dealt with in the EGR cooler. And uh, high pressure oil pump, that's a big one too. So, the issues that are common have been dealt with. It's beautiful tires. Obviously, you don't have to buy tires for a long time. Cosmetically, if you want to do, I mean, you could send it to Mako and paint this thing, but I would leave it the way it is and use it for hunting, fishing. Know, uh, towing, whatever. Obviously, you're going to need a drop hitch if you're going to tow. There's the rear lift. Those are the springs are part of the uh, lift, also. The tailgate's got this. You could probably use some touch up if you wanted to clean this up a little bit. But really, mechanically and lift, um, outstanding. Got a uh, rollover gooseneck hitch. We figured if we're going to make this as mechanically sound as it is, uh, might as well follow up with some new tires and a lift and make it like, kind of look a little tougher. So we did. fire this thing up. I'm going to open the hood. We're going to look for the Ford emblems on the uh, fenders and on the core support. There's your mileage. 153, 521. Alright. Got a new battery on this side. There's your Ford emblem right here, right where my finger's pointing. Right there is the uh, Ford emblem on the core support. Like I said, this is a new battery on this side. That's a new battery on this side, so you also have two new batteries. There's your Ford emblem on this side. And there's your Ford emblem right there. So 
None of the front end parts have been replaced. We always show people that so that they can know if uh, any anything's been repaired due to crash damage. And they never repair place anything with Ford parts because they're worth more than the truck. <laughs> so they usually go aftermarket. So you never see uh, aftermarket or Ford replacement parts. So that just means it hasn't been crashed. Rear seat looks good. Carpet looks good in the back. Make sure the windows work back here. It's your passenger rear. Let's make sure that there's no surprises in here. There you go. Nope. That seat looks great. Which isn't really uncommon. A lot of people in these crew cab diesel trucks never have a passenger in them. You could probably take all this tint off. This tint is really old. Uh, we left it on. It's really easy to peel off with a with a uh, razor blade. Just to take off one edge and pull it off. But we figured maybe somebody would want it. So we left it there. Carpet looks good. This seat looks great. The interior of this truck is outstanding. I wish the paint looked like the interior. But, you know, the exterior of it, aside from the dings in the tailgate, you really could take this thing to Mako and knock it out, paint the whole thing for probably under $1,000 if you wanted to. That'd be a one-stage paint. I don't know why it has these notches on both sides. It's kind of weird. Alright, let's see. Driver, passenger, passenger rear, driver rear, let's see, mirrors out, in, down, up. Other mirror, let's see, other mirror. Other mirror does not work. The other mirror is going to be a manual mirror. A little bit of wear here, but it doesn't feel like it's going through the fabric. This is probably the only part on this seat and the interior that's a little bit rough, but it's the driver's seat. You know what you need? You need a step right here. I just realized that I got a little problem. <laughs> okay. Ah, Jesus. I mean, that's what this is for. Yeah. Frick. All right. The weather's a little different up there. way up here. It feels like an eight inch lift, but it is a six and a half inch lift. I'm not sure why it feels bigger than a six and a half inch lift, but it does. It feels like you're a little bit higher. Having been in many of these, there's your overdrive off and on. For savings, for doing. That's the There's your radio, six disc changer. Got your air going ice cold. It's a nice warm day already this morning in Tucson. It's going to get to 100 today. Probably 90 right now. Cup holder, everything's there. Let me move it forward a little bit so I don't back into the other big truck behind us. Put it in neutral. Put it into four low. Now we're in four low. Put it into drive. That is four low, that is definitely four low in drive. And we'll put it in reverse. All right, now we go to neutral, put four high. Now we're in four high, four low went off, now we're in four high. Drive. And reverse. This truck has had the, uh, had a nice little life here. It's. Uh, liking very much its treatment. All right, let's go for a ride. Um, we'll talk about the nuts and bolts here uh, of a deal. If you come to Tucson and drive it home, obviously you need plates and insurance. You cannot get plates and insurance on a salvage title. We have to take it to motor vehicles um, and get it inspected by the gun carrying police, not clerks, the real cops do it. 
Um, once we do that, we get a level three inspection. We take the salvage title and the inspection to motor vehicle. We get what's called a restored salvage title. At that point, you can get plates and insurance. That's why if you want to drive it home, we have to do that before you get here. Um, that's $200. Uh, we charge $200 to do that. $50 goes to state, $150 goes to us to cover the cost of our guy potentially being with it for the entire day. They require us to stay with the car. We can't just leave it there anymore. Um, sometimes they're done. You know, we'll be there at 6 in the morning to be first in line. Uh, they open at 8. Sometimes we're gone at 8.15, 15, 15 minutes. Sometimes we're there until 6 o'clock at night. They're cops, so they get called away to do cop stuff. And uh, you never know. Boy, this thing runs good. This is quiet, too. This is a really quiet truck for a 6.0. Of course, it's had some excellent treatment. Oil and antifreeze, a couple ejectors, the... EGR cooler, high pressure oil pump. Nice. This is a nice truck. But this is a big boy. Uh, anyway, so it's $200 to restore the title. It's $250 dock fee and taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if you come to Tucson from a state, ta uh, from a state with a tax of 3%, you fly in here, you're going to pay a total of 5%. That's our two plus your three. Going to pay a $250 dock fee and you're going to pay $200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship, all you have to pay to us is the agreed upon price. No tax, no dock fees, no restore fee, but I strongly suggest you pay us the $200 and have us restore it for you unless you're absolutely 100% positive you can get it done in your state with just a bill of sale, the Arizona salvage title, and the truck itself. Those are the only documents we will ever provide you. Um, so just make sure you know that you can get it done. Once it's shipped out of state, it's pretty expensive to ship it back and then ship it back again. Um, that's only happened twice in 10 years. Uh, normally people do their research, but we had one in Illinois about five years ago on an Escalade. Uh, it was absolutely the nicest Escalade I've ever seen. And it was on a salvage title. And the cops there thought that there were parts replaced and they wanted receipts. There were no receipts, it was just a stolen car. That's why it was on a salvage title, and they did not understand that, and it got real testy. Um, you can't have receipts for something that didn't get done. Um, <laughs> so, there wasn't anything stolen off the vehicle. It was just the way the insurance companies do this, and the cops there did not understand. And a similar thing happened in Connecticut a long, like, 10 years ago. So, those things have always stuck in my mind. So, just make sure if you decline to have us do that for $200, that you know you can get it done. I know that some states are easy. Texas uh, is very easy um, if you want to spend the time. You know, it's a day out of your life, but if you want to do it, I know that it's pretty easy there. Um, we're not trying to make money off of that process. It's just something that we know that our customers like and could use. Um, let's see. Deposits. Please get your deposit in. $500 deposit. Uh, once we get it, we'll put your name in a banner over the over the truck at wheelkinetics.com. You'll know it's yours. Until then, it is for sale. Um, lastly, I'll say this, even though we've done pretty much all the scary stuff that ever goes wrong with the 6.0 has been dealt with, this is this car is way out of warranty way out by miles and year. Uh, the engineers who build this vehicle at Ford, they set a number because they don't know for sure what's going to happen to it after that point. Um, and so if they don't know, how do we know? So if this thing gets a check engine light in a week, get it fixed. If the windshield wipers stop working, get them fixed. Um, if you don't like risk, do not buy used cars, blenders, furniture, nothing. Okay? There's risk involved with buying anything used. Um, this truck can be bought new, lifted for probably 45 or 50 in cloth, and probably more like 50. Um, but if you want to save a ton of money, uh, and you realize that some of the money you saved you may have to put into the vehicle you know if the air goes out or a window stops working then this is the right vehicle for you if you don't like that idea buy a brand new truck then they give you bottled water and tell you what you want to hear and give you a loaner car and the whole bit all right uh, there'll be lots of pictures of this thing probably 75 the title will be scanned in um, you'll have your own file if you buy it uh, with everything we have uh, scanned in and that's that Thank you very much for your time.